Hello guys, we are going to talk about the trigger keyword today. With this feature you can define a downstream pipeline trigger. So you can trigger a pipeline in any project. There are two types of downstream pipelines, multi-project pipelines and child pipelines. Let's have a look at multi-project pipelines. It's very easy to use. You just need to provide a path to the project and that's it. Remember that you can only trigger a pipeline, not a job. You can also provide more information like environment variables. As always, I'm going to provide some examples so you understand it better. In the first example, we have two projects, trigger project and micro one project. And we want to trigger a pipeline in micro one from trigger project. Here's the logic for trigger project. When we click on this job, we want to trigger a pipeline in this project on this branch. And here's a setup for micro one project. We have a job for build, job for tests, and then we want to deploy it on prod. So let's try if it works. Let's go to CI CD pipelines and let's create a pipeline. Now we see that there's a manual job and when we click on it, uh, this job should spawn pipeline in micro one project. Pipeline has been created and in this section we can see uh, what's going on there. You can click on this pipeline and now we are in the micro one project and clicking on this button you can find info about which job has triggered this pipeline. It's very useful. And now time for the second example which will be a more complicated. As you can see uh, the pipeline has been triggered, but our deploy job uh, is a manual job and we want to run only this job. Firstly, we want to hide these two jobs, build and test, and run this job automatically. So we had to change the logic in micro one project. There's a new hidden job which we want to include this this code in our build and test jobs we use the extents keyword for this you can learn more about this keyword from my previous videos uh, we have here two rules the first rule checks if the pipeline is triggered from a, another pipeline and if it is, then just just hide the, uh, the the job and by default use on success. And in the deploy job, we have also two rules, but the first rule checks if the pipeline is triggered and checks also if this branch is is, is the master. And if it is, then spawn the job automatically. And by default, we want the, this job to be a manual job. And let's check if everything works fine. If we create a new pipeline in micro one project, the pipeline uh, should have three jobs as, as before, build, test and deploy prod. And we have them. The deploy job should be manual and it is. Now let's go and see the trigger project. Let's create a new pipeline. And when we run the job, uh, we expect only one job, the deploy prod and build and test jobs should be hidden. Let's see what will happen. And yeah, and our our lo logic uh, works. We still trigger the pipeline, but we can hide some jobs. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. 
If you want me to touch some topics, please let me know in, in the comment section. And thank you and see you next time.